So how many of you agree with the people who complain about the owner not being fair? I think many people do. But the owner is God. The owner of the house is God. The people who were hired from the very beginning in the morning hours were the Jewish people. The people who were hired the last hour were the Gentiles. And we are the Gentiles. We have benefited from God's generosity. So the owner is fair. He is just. Because he agreed with a just wage, and he paid the just wage. But he's also very generous. So that's why he paid more the people who came later and only worked one hour. And so we have benefited, the Gentiles, we have benefited because of God's generosity. God has put us on equal footing with the Jews, and even more so because we believe in Jesus. But we came in lately. The Jewish people were with God and were his people for thousands of years. And we come late, later, and we have benefited. So we give thanks to God. But another interpretation of the parable is that those who were with God, who were hired from the beginning, were with God in an early stage of life, when they were young, when they were born, they were faithful to God, they were devout, they were holy. And then some of us come in, come in later, right? We were converted, we came in later, we joined the faith and we got baptized as adults or later. So I'm one of them. For 36 years, I was kind of far from God. Even though I was Catholic, I wasn't really practicing. I wasn't really faithful. I I wasn't zealous. I wasn't devout. I was very part of the world. I was very of the world. So you can say I was standing idle in the marketplace. But after 36 years, I came to work in the vineyard of the Lord. And he has blessed me so much. He blessed me more than so many people who've always been with him since birth. That's because of his generosity. He has the freedom, God has the freedom to be generous with whoever he wants. He has the freedom to give different gifts to different people. That's his right, that's his freedom. And we should marvel at that. Not complain, not be envious, not be jealous, but we should be grateful that he's so good and so generous. And he tells us, my ways are not your ways. My thoughts are not your thoughts. So higher than your thoughts are my thoughts as the heavens from the earth. Right? So God's ways are, are incredible. So we marvel at his generosity and his wisdom and his love. And we don't, we don't become envious or jealous because then we're going to lose out because that's a sin. And then how else should we respond? Well, the first reading tells us to turn back to the Lord. He always waits for us. We all know people who are far from God. Just because you're attending this Mass right now doesn't mean you're working in the vineyard. So you have to ask yourself, am I working in the Lord's vineyard or am I standing idle in the marketplace? So how, does, how, does, how do you determine that? If you're living for yourself, if you're working for yourself, if you're selfish and far from God, then you're standing idle in the marketplace. You're not working in his vineyard. To work in his vineyard is to live for him, to work for him, to strive for holiness, to be faithful to God, and to bear witness to him so that others may come to know him, to love him, and to also work for him. And that's what St. Paul does, right? For a long time before his conversion, he was standing idle in the marketplace because he was worldly and he persecuted the church. But after his conversion, he was in, the mark, he was in working for the Lord. And, and, and so in the second reading, he said, I would long to be with Christ. I long to leave this earth, leave this life to be with Christ because that's the best reward. But if I'm here, it's for your benefit, right? Because he preached the gospel, spread the message, build God's kingdom, uplift the Christians. And so that, that's why with us, are you benefiting other people? Are you bringing other people to Christ? Are you building up the church? Or are you just living for yourself? That's how you determine if you're in the vineyard or if you're standing idle in the marketplace. I know for 36 years I was idle in the marketplace. Now I'm trying to make up for it, just like St. Paul, right? So I've written a book. It's going to come out in a couple of months called Fullness of Grace. Also, it's going to be in Vietnamese as well. And I, every morning I do a video 
uh, a reflection on the readings of the day, right? And you, and you can find that on YouTube, Fullness of Grace, and also Nei uh, Jan in, uh, in, in in Vietnam. So my point is, I don't have to do these things, but I want to do these things to help bring people to Christ, to help bring people into the kingdom of God, to help bring people into the vineyard, right? Because I'm in the vineyard, that's why I'm doing these things. And because God has blessed me so much, and I'm so grateful, I want to give back. I want to be generous too. My generosity can never compare to God's generosity to me. So we give thanks to Jesus for revealing the generosity of the Father. We should marvel at his wisdom, his goodness, and his love. And let us never be envious, but let us pray that everyone would turn back to, to Christ, even at a later stage in life, that they too may work in the kingdom of God and inherit eternal life.